these bolts can be a real mother sucker so just be prepared to go to war when you're doing these series Honda V6 crankshaft pulley bolt it's right there so I'm always hesitant about filming these because I don't know if they're gonna come off right away then I look like an idiot and then uh, sometimes they don't come off then you got to use heat and you got to get a half inch or three-quarter inch breaker bar to get it loose so sometimes these are hassle sometimes they come off really easy whenever I see um, you know guys taking these things off on YouTube you know for some reason they always come off really really easily so I don't get it maybe they break them loose and then go back and re-record and make it look like it's all easy peasy but I know some of you guys watching are having difficulties with this thing right now so we're gonna tackle this together I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a Lyle 19 millimeter fat socket see if I can get off this way I'll put links down in the description below to all the stuff I use now I have my half inch Milwaukee gun right here Love this thing, love it. But let's see, uh, let's see if you can do anything to break this thing loose. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed off, dude, if this thing comes off right away. Got nothing, didn't do anything. So I'm gonna apply some heat to this. Have a propane torch right here, put some heat on it. Try to break the rust free on this bolt. The owner thinks that the time belt has never been changed. It's 160,000 miles. Don't worry, this is not gonna hurt any of the seals. Not enough heat is transferring the seal back there to hurt it at all so it looks like it's gonna be one of those stubborn ones all right so I got a video for you guys <laughs> so next thing I'll do I'll put some penetrating oil back behind the washer don't touch that it's super hot right now and um, then I'll get out my three-quarter inch uh, breaker bar with my extensions with my three-quarter inch 19 millimeter have the crankshaft pulley tool in place I'll put a link in the description below you can buy an Amazon and I have About what eight inches nine inches no longer than that ten inches three-eighths breaker bar To a three-eighths 19 millimeter that's going right through the center of the crankshaft pulley tool And I have it on a half inch breaker bar down there against the floor and I have it resting on a three ton floor jack. Okay, now I'll bring in my three eighths or three quarter inch breaker bar and put it right here and see if I can break it loose. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. When the bolt actually breaks, you'll hear a loud pop. You actually want the socket to be like a 45, so this is pointing up. And that way it can give, give you a kind of 45 degree angle when you're. Uh, We ain't putting on the breaker bar. Okay, just repositioning it to a 45 degree angle. Make sure everything's in there. Okay, let's give it a shot. Getting my cheetah bar for the three quarter inch breaker bar. That was it, it broke loose. Okay, let me show you this setup. So I have a half inch breaker bar locked into the lower control arm on the crankshaft pulley tool. Go and do a 19 millimeter three quarter inch socket. And then I have extensions. Bring it down here on the three ton floor jack. I have my I have my three quarter inch breaker bar put links to all this stuff in the description below and then I have my I don't know three foot cheater bar I found this in a field near my old house 
and it's awesome and I was able to break it loose so these bolts can be a real mother sucker so just be prepared to go to war when you're doing these but at least I got this one loose now we'll worry about lining everything up as far as timing marks on the top two cams don't worry about lining up the timing marks before doing this you can do it afterwards not a big deal I'll swing this back up this way to get it loose and uh, pull the bolt out there it is the Honda J series v6 crankshaft pulley bolt if you have found this video helpful please consider subscribing to Bunny's garage and I will talk to you later